Hey guys, Jake here coming at you with another math problem today. Here's the problem we're going to be going over today. We're going to find the integral or the antiderivative of x times e to the negative 2x dx. There's a link in the description if you want to check out the book that I found this problem from, but let's go ahead and jump into it. This problem would most easily be solved by using integration by parts. So I'll start out just by kind of writing a formula for what that is. Basically, integration by parts says if we have the integral of u times dv, that would be equivalent to u times v minus the integral of v times du. So when you're doing an integration by parts problem, the first thing you want to do is figure out which piece of your integral you want to call u and which piece of your integral you want to call dv. So usually what you want to do is pick your u so that when Basically, whatever you call your u, you're going to have to take the derivative of that thing. Whatever you call dv, you're going to have to take the antiderivative of that thing. So you want to pick it accordingly so that, you know, either you pick the thing to be dv that's a lot easier to integrate, or you pick the thing to be u that's a lot easier to take the derivative of. So let's kind of think about our two options here. Obviously, this is going to be one of our pieces, and e to the negative 2x is our other piece. And these are the only two things being multiplied together. So one of them is going to be u, one of them is going to be dv. If we think about the derivative and the antiderivative of x, the derivative of x is just going to be 1, right? Just a constant. The antiderivative of x is going to be a, an x squared term multiplied by a constant, but that doesn't really have much of an impact. Um, so you're going to be left with an x squared term. So obviously taking the derivative of x is a lot nicer than taking the antiderivative of x because a constant is a lot simpler to deal with than an x squared term. On the other hand, if we look at e to the negative 2x, both the derivative and the antiderivative of e to the negative 2x is just going to end up being some constant times e to the 2x because the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So whether we do the antiderivative or the derivative, of course our constant will be different, but we're still going to end up with a constant times e to the negative 2x. So it doesn't really matter which, which designation we put to the e to the negative 2x part, but the x is a lot easier to take the derivative of. So let's say that our u is going to be x, and then our dv piece is going to be the e to the negative 2x. And then we also want to throw our dx in here in the dv. So now what we want to do is figure out what du and v are. So du is just going to be the derivative of u. The derivative of x is just 1. And we'll say dx will be in there as well. And then the antiderivative of e to the negative 2x dx is just going to be negative 1 half e to the negative 2x. Because if we take the derivative of this, we're just going to get e to the negative 2x times negative 2, which is the derivative of negative 2x. The negative 2 will cancel out with the negative 1 half, leaving us with e to the negative 2x. So this is the antiderivative of this. Like I said, it's just e to the negative 2x times some constant. So now we can take these four pieces and plug them into our integration by parts formula. So we know that this integral here is equivalent to u times v, which is going to be x times all this. So negative 1 half x e to the negative 2x minus the integral of v times du. So minus this times 1. So just that. So we're going to get minus negative 1 half e to the negative 2x dx. So now what we can do is figure out what this is instead of what this is. And the reason why that's better is look at this integral here. Now we just have some constant, which we can actually pull out of our integral, times e to the negative 2x, which is easier to find the derivative of or the antiderivative of than x times e to the negative 2x. So doing that, we'll just come up here now. This stuff out in front of the integral is all going to stay the same. Now, what we can do is pull this negative one half out of our integral. Since we already have a negative sign out here, the negatives are going to cancel. So we're just going to get plus one half 
times the integral of e to the negative 2x dx. So remember what we did a second ago, the antiderivative of e to the negative 2x is negative 1 half e to the negative 2x. So negative 1 half times a positive 1 half is going to make this negative 1 fourth. And then that accounts for this whole term here. We're still going to have our negative 1 half x e to the negative 2x here. So our final antiderivative is negative 1 half x e to the negative 2x minus 1 quarter e to the negative 2x. And that by integration by parts is equivalent to this initial integral we started with. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. It would be a huge, a huge help, great way to support the channel so I can keep making more videos like this for you. Thanks and see you next time.